Hello everyone, Ross is here and today we will check the new feature on Google Fit coming for Pixel devices. Let's start! Alright guys, what's this new feature and why everyone on internet is so excited? That's because Google pushed an update to their Google Fit application and now you can measure your heart rate with just your back camera. Also, you can measure your respiratory rate, which I never do, but now I will try it. All right, what we'll do today, we'll check that heart rate function and we'll compare it with my Garmin Phoenix 5, which is wrist-based heart rate. And also I will compare it with this chest strap for heart rate monitoring, which as you probably know, this is the most accurate way to measure your heart rate and I will connect it to my Garmin watch of course. All right, let's check for the application. Here it is. Just keep in mind guys that if you try to download it from Google Play Store, it's still not updated there. So I will put the link in video description. Of course, you can download it and try it. These are the two new cards. Check your heart rate and track your respiratory rate. That's what we'll test today. Of course, for now, this future is only for Pixel device, but at some point, probably it will came to most of Android devices. All right, let's start with this heart rate monitor. Did you know that things like dehydration can affect your heart rate? Measure yours at any time just by using your phone. All right, measure your heart rate with your phone's camera. And you can see just a random guy with a basketball ball is measuring his heart rate. See how your body responds in different situations by measuring your heart rate after things like exercising or drinking a caffeine or take a reading in the morning to track your heart rate at rest. All right, let's stop next. You just need to give us a hand. We'll need just that finger. Put your finger over your rear facing camera lens to measure your heart rate. For the most accurate read that you are in well lit area and can hold your hand steady. All right. Place your fingertip fully over the camera lenses. Hold your hand steady and apply light pressure with your finger. All right. Start measuring. I'll put just my finger here on the main camera lens and let's check it. Heart rate 78, okay, sound good, I'm feeling around this, alright, let's check now with my watch, I will tighten a little bit on my wrist so to be sure the reading is accurate, alright guys, now let's try again here and just it start measuring on the watch. Heart rate 70 and here it is 71 or 72. Very accurate. To be honest, I don't expect this. Hands down for Google again. They do a great job. All right, now I will connect my chest strap to my Garmin watch and we'll check it again. All right, guys, I just put my chest strap and let's connect it to my Garmin watch. And here it is heart rate and the number of the model, status, searching, and now it's connected. All right, let's go back and now let's start measure my heart rate.
all right 64 and here it's 60 it was 67 or 65 at the end now it's 67 so it's very accurate i even can't believe that hands down again from google they always do a great job all right guys after we make the test to this heart rate monitor let's test the other new feature which is respiratory rate get start measure your breathing rate with your phone's camera see how your body regulates your breathing by measuring your respiratory rate for most people it's usually stable but you might notice a changes if you are feeling stressed or unwell simply position yourself within the frame if it will detect small movements in your chest to measure your respiratory rate make sure that you are seated and you've removed any items covering your face including hats and masks and wait for a few minutes if you've been active recently all right let's just tap next lean your phone against a stable surface so that you can comfortably see yourself from the waist up when measurement starts i should stay still so it's not very comfortable to record a video and doing this thing that's why i already do this and make a screen recording and now i will show you how it looks like and mine was 18 now i just check it again and it's 14 what that means to be honest i don't know for informational purposes only consult your local medical authority for advice all right after we save the measurement if we tap here learn more we can read that respiratory rate is a measure of how many breaths you take in a minute measured in a respirations per minute rpm for most adults, a normal respiratory rate is between 12 to 20 RPM at rest. So between 12 and 20 is okay and I am happy about that. And that guys are the two new things which we can thanks to Google again for this. We can now check our heart rate and our respiratory rate just by using our phone's camera and these things like watches and bands are slowing going in the trash can. Now for this we can just use our phone. And that was it. If you like this video don't forget to subscribe and like my channel. Have a nice day.